Shell, and now to your health. As of this summer, continuous glucose monitors are now available over the counter for the first time. The devices are used to monitor blood sugar in people with diabetes. Well, now more people who don't have diabetes are using them. Health reporter Haley Hernandez is here to explain why. Yeah, now that they're available without a prescription, more people are using them as a window into their health, which can be good and bad. Awais Durrani is a local doctor who stays up to date on health news, but why he chose to start wearing a continuous glucose monitor might surprise you. We measure everything, right? Our steps, our heart rate, we yeah. wear our uh, fancy watches to exercise. So I think data is good if you know what to do with it. And that's key, according to Dr. Artie Thangadu, an endocrinologist who regularly prescribes these devices. In the past, we used to have just capillary blood glucose, right? People were checking their blood sugars a couple of times a day or maybe they weren't at all because that's really annoying right it's annoying yeah. to prick your fingers it's painful so now these devices that people don't even have to do anything for they're just there and they stay there for um, several days are just giving them that blood sugar information all the time and they can share that with their clinician to assess patterns so she says unless you're working closely with a provider who can help you interpret the patterns in glucose spikes this could drive people to make the wrong nutrition choices whether we like it or not bacon is probably not the healthiest food it's a highly processed red meat you know you can't eat it thinking that it's healthy because your blood sugar doesn't move. Right. You have to look at blood sugar with the whole person and the whole clinical picture. However, she thinks some patients could seriously benefit from wearing a continuous glucose monitor, especially, she says, considering all the people who may have diabetes and not even know it. Alerting people that they might have metabolic disease if their average blood sugar is like 150 and they had no idea then it might be very useful for that person to get a further evaluation. What have you learned about yourself? Uh, that I need to sleep more and that exercise is good. So not, nothing, you know, nothing um, groundbreaking, but I've learned that, you know, when maybe I do have that unhealthy meal um, and if I like work out after that, my blood glucose levels come back to a much normal level much quicker uh, than if I just sat on the couch and watched some TV. I think it's that enforcing good patterns and good behaviors that you wear this once or twice, um, you enforce those behaviors and hopefully live a longer, healthier life. Now, Dexcom is the first over-the-counter continuous glucose monitor when it costs about $99 for a pack of two of them, and they're typically made to be replaced after a couple of weeks. So this is something that non-diabetics might want to use and then discard because, you know, that you're not somebody who has to wear it all the time. All the time, right. That little insight and then put it away so you don't obsess over the numbers. Yeah, but she said people like with pre-diabetes and PCOS might benefit from using this and seeing like where they could make improvements and then, yeah. like, you know, Owani, or, uh, Durrani said, you know, like, just seeing his achievements in on the monitor right. motivated him to make more healthy choices. Helped. All right. Okay. Good information. Case, yeah. Thank you. Thanks, guys.